Hey, Life Path number eight. Welcome back or welcome and welcome back to National Tarot. These are my natural nails and this is Tarot. As I've been saying to all the other numbers, I won't be doing full readings anymore. I'm doing uh, blockages, energy coming towards you and advice from spirit. With that being said, thank you, Spirit, for being a guardian, a guide, a protector, a teacher, for knowing all, for seeing all. Thank you, angels, for always being around me, guiding me, loving me, supporting me, protecting me. I greatly appreciate it. I ask that you bring Life Path Number Eight's energy completely into this reading so that I can convey the message as clearly as possible. Thank you in advance, Spirit. All right, blockages. What do we have for blockages? Victory and success, the Six of Wands. Choose wisely, the Seven of Cups. both of those we have shadow and wish fulfillment the nine of cups shadow is the moon so maybe having a hard time believing in what you can't see look the ace of swords is at the bottom of the deck the ace of swords be showing up when the truth is present so um, we have trapped in fear so having a hard time believing in what you can't see Let's clarify some of this. Why is victory and success here? We have the king of swords. So being sure about like what the next move is what to how to move forward um being sure about um this faith that you are possibly having a hard time with like what you can't see being sure about it but whatever it is whatever conversation spirit has had with you um this is why it's showing up in blockages because there's a sureness that needs to come in once you're sure it will really start to bring in what it is that you was for you why is choose wisely here we have the queen of pentacles so um being sure about what you're feeding energetically in your home in your workplace in collaborations and what you are nurturing what you are whatever it is that you're nurturing being being sure about it choosing wisely um this could even be a person you could be um you could have options you could when it comes to love you could have some options and spirit wants you to choose wisely when it comes to having these options because <laughs> of course we know that what was what passes you by is not for you but it's almost like a spirit may have given you a hint about what's for you and you might be questioning it, questioning it, questioning uh, even if you're capable of properly giving to this thing, but you are. We have the magician at the bottom of the deck. So you definitely are shadow. Why is it here? Why is the moon here? We have the ace of swords. And the king of wands. So if, if we're talking about like a person that you're pursuing, maybe you have to change a lot of your ways in order to... To call this in. Like spirit is saying. Like don't miss your mark. Don't miss your mark. If something is. Really making you happy. You can trust that. Trust what's making you. What's making you happy. The nine of cups. The six of wands. Twice here. Yeah, you have to trust what's making you happy. Look, the magician is at the bottom of the deck. You have everything you need to, to 
really fully step into this happiness and then to if this is a relationship you have everything you need to step into it you have to you just have to be sure you just have to choose it pretty much you just have to choose it and it may be a hard choice because it's you could have been like not in a relationship for a long time and you know don't really know how you how you'd perform in a relationship but um whatever this is you have to trust in what's making you happy. So if it's a person that's making you happy um, and you haven't had problems with this person, you have to trust that if it's, there's a passion of yours that makes you happy and you feel like it's different from, from what you've done on your life, the career that you've done on your life and you, you want to go for, you have to trust what, what makes you happy. Okay. What energy is coming towards? Number eight. We have sacrifice. Prosperity begins that ace of pentacles. And sacral chakra keywords I want. Can't make this up, y'all. Can't make it up. Temptation is at the bottom of the deck. So this could even be you wanting to hold on to an old lifestyle or some old ways that are just not beneficial to you that will not get you what you truly want what it is you truly truly want so maybe even spending this is the energy coming towards you so um some enlightenment some alone time really separating yourself from others to think to be enlightened to observe perspective for what it is that you're calling in long term like we have the ace of cups and that's where you'll you'll find like the emotional fulfillment the new emotional journey will take place with this this hangman energy with you putting yourself into this space of enlightenment look direction really really saying okay it's about time that i sit down and figure this out the ace of pentacles the emperor taking charge of what you want long term being sure about what you want long term bossing up on what you want long term because it what you want long term could be very different from how you are living right now look we have the five of cups that i said don't miss your mark number eight don't miss your mark look do not miss your mark okay you may be having fun right now um or have had fun for the past few years but what you want long term is going to require something different from you. Sacral chakra keywords I want. The hangman here twice in energy coming towards you. So really focusing. Um, ooh, and, and this on top of the sacral chakra, this is really speaking to not. This is it's, it's speaking to preserving your sexual energy. So we do have this on top of the King of Wands, which is a very charming, you know, get what I want type of energy. Um, with this hang one being on top of the sacral energy, the keywords I want, you're going to have to preserve energy, um, whether it be just energy, your energy or sexual energy. It'll you'll have to be in a space of self-preservation not giving yourself to anybody in order to see things very clearly i was just thinking about this too like when it comes to like soulmate connections and stuff like that like um wanting to be with somebody long term it's very important to preserve your sexual energy because you'll go through different phases of relationships so where to where you won't be having a whole lot of sex you know so like let's say you're you marry somebody and they get pregnant and at the end of um their pregnancy they're not in the mood because their belly is big <laughs> 
or even when they do have that baby and you have to wait that period of time not having sex because of the healing process so um i think especially for men i think it's it's important to practice self-preservation so that you are prepared for the times in life where you're not able to give yourself in that way and then we have the wheel of fortune and the star so in due time that change is available you're capable of becoming who you're supposed to be in order to call in what it is that you truly want because there are things that are in your space right now that can't go with you but this will take time um when i said don't miss your mark i didn't mean rush it you know because we do have the hangman showing up twice to where you'd have to go into this this space of being alone and enlightening yourself and thinking thinking things through thinking of maybe why you could have been attached to uh sex or um whatever uh, attached to the idea of options you know this is this hangman energy will enlighten you on why that's been the case and you'll come out of this a new person really like you'll you'll come out of this damn near ready for commitment you know ready assert assertive and sure about what it is that you want uh ready to pursue your full-on happiness all right advice from spirit We have limitless see yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways the divine can use anyone and anything and gratitude fill me with gratitude for all you give may i be a vehicle for you wherever i go inner power is at the bottom of the day so not seeing these changes that need to be made as such um a hard thing because it is going to bring in what it is that your soul wants We have the world major change major change taking place your life is going to be so different from you know what it's been the sun enlightenment the hangman again okay okay the emperor again the fool faith have faith in this journey have faith that is bringing in exactly what it is that you want long term you know, spirit is like, you've had your fun now. You, it's time to start calling in what you want long term. All right. Number eight. That is all that I have for your reading. If it resonated, please like, share, comment, subscribe. And until next time, come again.